What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today we are going over the market. We are going over some MT methods for you guys. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to like it up. Let's try to hit 50 likes within the first two hours for a giant MT giveaway, possibly a mil MT giveaway this week. 500k to a mil MT giveaway. We keep hitting like goals of 50 likes every single time so if you guys are new man if you hit like subs all the new subs all the likes let me know down in the comments it would be appreciated man also if you could follow me on instagram and twitter the giveaways will probably be on there and if you guys do need mt hit me up i am buying and selling mt on both instagram and twitter on xbox and ps4 so um we got the market man we got the super packs yesterday in my opinion i think these are not good super packs we have three days left in this season uh well actually it's two days left in this season we're about 10 20 minutes away from two days left in this season i'm recording this video at around 10 40 you guys will probably see it around 12 um so today we're probably not going to see content we're probably going to see content tomorrow on new moments cards kind of a fan of the moments but then again i'm in 2k jail i have like a mil mt on my main account maybe more with a pretty stacked team but i cannot get onto my account because um yeah i promote mt but it's whatever um here we go man super packs we're gonna go over the investments how to make mt right now um, my personal investment right now is definitely eyeing out Yao Ming. Why? First off, he's 7'6". He's not that slow. What's his speed? 68 speed at 7'6", guys. This card right here, 73 three-point shot. You can get his three-point shot to, I think, 78 or an 80. Um, so, in my opinion, man, this Yao Ming literally goaded, guys. He's 7'6". You can't go wrong with a Yao Ming of any type. So, in my opinion, man, Yao Ming is definitely the card you want to pay attention to. In investing, I think his price could go up to well over 200k. You just got to get him for 150 or lower. I think he's one of my key investments, especially in the Galaxy Opal end. And if you guys want, man, maybe you could snipe out a Galaxy Opal. Maybe you could snipe out two Galaxy Opals. I know it's been very, 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 very tough on sniping out Galaxy Opals. It's been tough. There has been, like, literally no snipes in the Opal end. There's been no snipes in general. And why is that? Because people that pull packs most likely know pricing. Um, it's tough. It it's tough. Um, there hasn't been like any good snipes this whole year. Sniping's been very tough. You have to sit on this filter for very long unless you get very lucky. If you guys do any, any six snipes, man, make sure to tag me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll definitely post those because um, I haven't got a Galaxy Opal snipe all year, man. I don't know if you guys grinding. I know a lot of grinders have been getting it, but uh, oh, I, I thought I just got one. But yeah, the Galaxy Opal snipe filter is pretty dry. If you do get a snipe, man, you're going to make upwards of 100k more depending on who you get. If you get like LeBron or something, that's pretty crazy. But uh, we're going to go over a couple others, man. I think LeBron James and Tracy McGrady, their price will constantly drop. Because as you guys do know, we are getting um, Dark Matter, I would say maybe the end of next season, possibly. We're probably going to get the first Dark Matter card, 99 overall, probably the end of next season, which would be probably late March, I believe, which would be around middle March, late March, which is almost baseball season. We got MLB The Show coming out on Xbox which is literally so hype i'm excited to play it will be the show but lebron james man he's in super packs right now and his price is still around 600k i don't think his price will stay i don't think he's worth the investment the the scary thing is with lebron with um what's his name lebron james is he's so expensive even with like nothing on it and the reduction on 500k is 50k so you want to stay away from players literally over at least 200k. Jordan's not worth the investment either, even though this card is beautiful. I mean, the autograph on it is just sick. I love trading cards. If you guys want to follow my trading card channel, make sure to go check it out. It's in the link down below. It's my second channel. I post there every day. Um, but yo, right now, how to make MT. Well, I'm going to tell you my favorite method to this day to make MT consistently. And it's going to be Amethyst, Maximum Buyout, whatever it is um this is my favorite way and look at this i think all these cards right here are going to be worth investing scott skiles for 1300 mt i'm telling you right now the amethyst filter is going to pop off man glenn davis these cards always go up man once the season's over you're not going to see these cards in packs especially the throwback moments they're never going to be back in packs ever so right now since it's the end of the season it's time to invest it's time to make mt there it's just time to sell literally anything you can and buy anything you can now is not the time to sell. Now is the time to invest. Amethyst, diamonds, any amethyst that makes sense to invest in, just buy them. They're only going to go up. If you remember when I made this video, when amethysts were around, I don't know, 1200 MT, 1300 MT. Ooh, ooh, these are the ones right here. Oh my God, the goat. 
Wow, we just got all of them, right? I think we just got all of them. So, oh, we missed. All right, we got Manu Ginobili, 1300 MT. This card is goaded, man, for 1300 MT. He's only going to go up. So, make sure to stay on this Amethyst filter. You're going to make a lot of MT. These cards will probably rise somewhere next week or the week after. As you guys can see, man, there's just so many snipes that pop up around this filter. There's so many. Mono Ginobili, you're really saying someone that comes to the game, some new players that come to the game aren't going to buy Mono Ginobili for a solid 2500 or 1300 in a little bit uh, in like a couple weeks, man. He's going to be 2500 at least in a couple weeks. So my opinion, man, you got to buy as many cards as you can for the prices I'm showing you. Even Aaron Aflo, another 1300 Mono. Let me get that. And it ended. So this filter might be competitive once in a while, but at 1350, you're not going to go wrong. You're never going to lose MT for 1350. Even if you sell for 1600 MT, which you could probably sell. Oh, that's a really good one. Oh my God. It's going to lag. Oh my God, please. Oh my God, please. Yes. That's a big one. Ralph Sanson for 1300. I'm going to buy all these amethysts. This is the best making MT making method in the game, bro. Trust me. You could sell them now for probably profit. Maybe not so much profit, honestly. I'm not going to lie. You're not going to make profit right away. But over time, if you invest, I'm telling you right now, at 2,500 MT, you're going to make 1,000 per. If you drop 130K, you're going to make 260K back. Trust me when I say this. You're going to double your profit. It's going to maybe take like a week, maybe even five days. Maybe not even a week. But the new season's coming. These cards won't crash. They're only going to go up. They're not going to be in packs unless 2K does do the thing. Maybe some of them will. Probably in like TTO Vault or something, but I'm telling you right now. These Glenn Robinsons, great card. He was a great card back in 2K, what is it, 20? Two, not 2K, 20. I don't know, maybe 2K like 18 or 17, man. It was a while ago, but trust me when I say this, man. My favorite MT making method is definitely that one. Then we got the Diamond Filter, the Pink Diamond Filter. Any cheapest, any cheap filters, man, are going to work out, especially in the long run, especially investments. You just got to know exactly what you're looking for. Never buy anything to do with Derek Coleman's, Ben Wallace's, only cards that make sense that are worth buying that are actually good in the game. Like these cards are outdated. Any older cards you don't want, you don't want to pay attention to mostly like season. What is it? Season four cards. You want to pay attention to season four cards, but yo, other than that, that's all we really got for the video. Snipe filters are, that's pretty much my favorite MT making methods, but yeah, that's all we got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more. Have a good one. Peace.